What's the word, child? You fucking with your boy Dre Tone. Fucking with my niggas at Chop Talk TV. You hear me? This shit big business, nigga. I don't keep with that money in your face. Ride around right with bro, keep that 40 on my waist. I'm my nigga serving. Hey, all I know is serving. Pull up on you and I'm at your service. Got that big 40 on me, I ain't nervous. Too much hate, my thoughts ain't just sturdy. Hey, you my partner, but you. Chop Talk TV, this ain't that, man. Y'all know it's big business. Got my dog Drake Tone in the building. What's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah, man, you know, we ain't doing shit but getting money, man. Trying to stay getting towards you. Really. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. How your 2020 been? Shit, 2020 been crazy, man. Crazy as hell. Crazy. But how's it been crazy for you, though? Shit, man, I done lost a lot of motherfuckers. All type of crazy shit been going on, man. It just made me go harder, though, you really. No doubt, no doubt. How you stay COVID free? <laughs> Keep a mask on, nigga. <laughs> stay away from these you pussy niggas, you. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> say they know to stay yeah. away from suckers and all other shit. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up, man. Where you from, Dre? Shit, man. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. A little bit of everywhere, this motherfucking north side. Um, I mean, that's really, I really came up, you know, in the, um, and um, the county for real, that's why I came up like in high school and shit, you know. I went to Hazelwood West and shit. Okay. But shit, when I was younger, I went to, I mean, you know, I stayed on like, stayed on the south side, stayed in the um, city, mm -hmm. stayed in Jenny's. Oh, you so been I around, stayed, yeah. yeah, all over this motherfucker. That's, that's what's up, man. When you start uh, fucking around with the music shit? Shit, I've been doing this music for hell. Been doing music for hell, but taking it serious the last couple of years, cause you know I really ain't just ain't had the paper, the paperwork to take it serious, you know. Mm -hmm. So just getting my paperwork right, you know, taking more serious. That's what's up. That's what's up. You got a mixtape out? Yes, sir. I got two mixtapes out right now. You hear me? I got um, Luck Is Up out. That's on all streaming platforms. Um, and I also got um, Hot Summer, Dre Tone, Hot Summer, I just dropped that this year on Halloween, you hear me? Okay, man, right, that's what you working with. Uh, any thoughts of an album in the in the future? Right. Yeah, I'm trying to get get some shit buzzing, and then once I get that, mm -hmm. then you know what I'm saying, we um do something like that, an album or something, but she... I'm rocking out with the mixtapes and getting the singles popping this shit right now, you hear me? Okay, what's so, up? How you uh, link up with a real two scale? How that relationship come about? Yeah, man, I was just um, doing a whole bunch of shows and whatnot, you hear me? And I end up um, bumping it to Big Bro, you know, he just end up keeping it real with the nigga and shit. And we end up rocking out, you hear me? Man, that's what's up, okay. that's what's up. You got any local artists that you... Uh, you linked up with, you been collab with? Hell yeah. I fuck with a bunch of niggas, man. You know, I fuck with um my nigga um Prince JJ. That's my engineer slash um you know what I'm saying, do music. That nigga do all types of shit, you hear me? Yeah, but see I fuck with his ass, my nigga Dre Trill. Fuck with that nigga. Um shit, who else I be fucking with? Mmm. Man, I fuck with a bunch of motherfuckers. Oh yeah, I fuck with, fuck with like Stacks. My nigga Stacks, one, um, two, what, what is it, one eye, two holes, you Matter of fact, you did some shit with my nigga, um, Rico Sesso, you hear me? Oh yeah, that's little bro. Yeah, 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 that's my dog, you know, I be rocking with him. I be trying to get him on the song. I know that nigga through the streets, though, you know. Right. Um, you know, that's, that's shit, up. yeah. You got any local artists that you, uh, you want to collab with that you think you can touch it? And I'm trying to work with everybody, shit. But off the top of my head, oh, I got some shit in the works with. Um, like I got a song from the do a little tight. I already got a song with little tight over. You know what I'm saying? I got the other little joint from to put together and shit with um, little tight. Shit, I wanna do some shit with it. Um, let me see. Probably like, let me see who 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 I really. I like, I fuck with, um, like, Bookie Glocks. I like Bookie Glocks. He be, okay, he yeah, be turned up. Yeah, Bookie be turned um, 
Yeah. Um, who else? It's a couple motherfuckers, you know, like Deontro. I didn't, I didn't bump into Deontro a few times. Yeah. You know, that nigga, I, I, you know, he be rocking out doing his thing. Yeah, yeah. On um, me, yeah. shit, I wanna fuck with everybody though, shit. You got uh, anybody in the industry, mainstream wise, you a little to collab with? Um, shit, hell yeah. Like, shit, Poo Shiesty and Big 30, you know, I fuck with they ass shit. Right. But, like, niggas who had, like, Gucci, man, that'll be tired. I fuck with Gucci, shit, Future, nigga. Um, let me see, Star Lido, nigga. Um, shit. Um, who else I be fucking with? Hard. Right. Mm, I don't know. I, you know, I be fucking with a little bit of everybody, though. Mm, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. How you gonna end your 2020? Get some paper, man. I'm gonna drop me a um, mixtape, a little EP, probably like seven song EP. Mm -hmm. Call Free Diego to mixtape. Free my nigga Diego out there slamming. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. What well, about Money Band D, mm -hmm. really? What about first quarter? How you gonna bust out 2021 first quarter? Oh, uh, yeah, we finna come with all videos to the hot summer. We rocking our videos, shows. I'm trying to get the hell out of St. Louis, man. I'm trying to get a whole lot of money everywhere. Yeah. Ain't no doubt. Network like a motherfucker. Ain't no doubt, ain't no doubt. Now, I asked all the St. Louis is this question, man. You know, officially February 23rd is your Gotti day. He got the key to the city, so I just be trying to get brothers an insight on how they feel about the Gotti having the key to St. Louis. Shit. I fuck with Gotti, shit. Gotti a big dog, shit. He doing this thing, shit. Gotti um, got it out the street, shit. Gotti, I don't got no problem with that, shit. I don't feel bad about that. All right, all right. He doing this thing, he a big dog, shit. He, I mean, motherfuckers just need, like, try to put, like, some type of positivity out there or something, you know? All right, all right. Ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. Definitely shout out to Gotti. You got any female, uh, Artists that you uh, probably want to link with and do something with? Mm, hell yeah, shit. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to work with everybody, but like Big Bro was telling me, um, and then you you told me that was your artist, um, what's her name? Pull the Look. Yeah, Pull the Look. I yeah. do something with her. Yeah, I got this other little female I'm finna do this little track with, you hear me? Mm -hmm. um, Big Bro was getting me hip on. Red the Rapper. Yeah. Sexy Red, you know, she, uh... Hell she yeah, I love thing. Sexy Red. Sexy yeah. Red, yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna do something with her. Yes, sir. Absolutely. She pregnant right now, ain't she? Yeah, I think she about to have a child. Yeah. Sexy <laughs> Red need to have my child. Nah, I'll tell you shit. Yeah. Hey, that is my baby, though. Yeah, she don't even know it, though. Mm. All right, all right. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Uh, 2021, you, uh, you moving around for us traveling? You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, I'm trying to get the hell out of here, but you know, we always coming back, rocking out. Right, right, we don't always be home, but uh, you know, I'm trying to travel the whole world, shit, hell yeah. Any particular cities you got your eye on? I mean, the major cities, shit, um, California, New York, and you know, all the big shit, where all the big shit at, you know? Right, right, absolutely. What's the... Uh, What's one particular thing like when you in the in the studio that you that you need to get your recording process in? Man, I need to smoke a lot of blunts. I need <laughs> some um I need you motherfuckers to bring something to drink in that motherfucker. You know? <laughs> you say blunt Thirsty game. as a motherfucker, you hear me? All right, I'm hip, I'm hip. Shit, uh whatever. See that's about it, shit. Got any uh, particular producers or like engineers you like working with? Yeah, I fuck with my nigga um, Playboy, Trillion, Billion. That's my big brother, you hear me? And I fuck with my nigga Prince JJ. He be, um, he be, that's why I be mainly doing a lot of my recording there lately. But I was just rocking out with Playboy. But shit, I don't got no problem with, you know, trying new shit ever, you hear me? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, God. Yeah, man. You know, it's been, uh, we done lost a few of Good brothers like Vine and Mo3 and shit like that. So I yeah, want to yeah. get your insight on how you feel about all the little beef and the dissing and rolling up the dead ops and shit. Man, man I just want to say R.I.P. to my nigga Money Bad D, you hear me? Because I was with that nigga uh, this whole year, you hear me? R.I.P. my nigga, go look at his music, you hear me? We got some shit on, on my new mixtape, Hot Summer. But motherfuckers been fuck with that Hot Summer. 
But yeah, I like Mo Three. That was my nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. Mo Three. That's that fucked me up when they did that to Mo Three. And King Von, you know, he was a he was a cool nigga. But King Von just was high head. He was out here doing the shit he was doing. But shit, you know, mm -hmm. that nigga they punched the nigga up and shit. Then dude just, you know, that shit happened how it happened. Shit. Right. Like damn, but shit, that nigga that just punched the nigga up. I, you know, he he was supposed to be the big dog. He didn't just. So how do you so I mean how do you take the all this little the diss and the shit going on like how you stay roundabout from you know what I'm saying being involved in that type of shit man I just be trying to um give me some money man probably find me a, a nice little female to um be um kicking it with sometimes if it ain't about no money or no music I really just be to myself bro if I ain't with my little female you know right. On my little um, <laughs> daughter or something, you know? Right, right. On me. If it was a uh, brother coming behind you that's trying to get started in the gang, what's some advice you would give to him for a nigga? Shit, don't to give up, up, man. No matter what nobody say, shit. Just stay down. Keep going. Progression is the key, you hear me? Right, true that. Most, most definitely, man. You got any children, bro? I got one daughter, you hear me? She four. Her name is Skylar Beasley, oh God. That's how, you, how you take your newfound fame, like when like motherfuckers starting to know who you are in the streets and people see you, like how does that shape your everyday life, man? That shit be making me feel like, nigga, I am not famous, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I'm trying to get some money, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck y'all talking about? Yeah. Right, right. I be like, nigga, I see y'all. I'm like, yeah, all right, nigga, yeah, I'm right over, but she. They try to act like I'm, uh, yeah. But I, I appreciate that though. But it just be like, I ain't like, damn. They lie, bro. You ain't see what I could lie. Like, yeah. I know it be lit, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. people want pictures and like autographs and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you definitely gotta, uh, be humble with it, you know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, it make a brother feel good because then that let you know you working and people yeah. really paying attention to it. I ain't doing that shit for nothing, really. Ain't no doubt, ain't no doubt. You got any other business ventures you uh, want to get off into just besides the music? Hell yeah, man. I'm trying to branch off into a whole lot of shit, but shit, you know, I was already doing my little landscaping thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a little landscaping business and shit, I, um... Man, I, I want to do all types of whatever makes sense, bro. I'm trying to keep the money in rotation, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm fucking with that. I'm fucking with that. I'm I want to get money a hundred different ways, you know what I mean? And act like I'm broke, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I'm <laughs> but when I want to do something, I'm just, <clears throat> if I feel like buying a house or something, I might just buy a house today, or I might be broke today, you know what I mean? Right, ain't no doubt, ain't no doubt, man. I definitely appreciate you for having us, man. Like I say, Duke getting you right, man, with that fresh line, man. Yes, sir. We're going to definitely keep up with you, man, because, like I say, first quarter finna pop out, so I know a lot of artists. I know y'all got a lot of shit bubbling up, getting ready to take place and shit, man. So yeah. definitely, man, uh, we're going to stay on your bumpers, man. You know what it is, man. Dre Tones in the building, Chop Talk TV, man. Big business and keeping no score. This ain't that. Yeah, young nigga shit, man. Big business, man. Yeah. We serving. Break it down and serve it. No job, we working. No job, we working. How much real, bro? Cut. If this the real, he was spirit.